Uh oh, hello. Here's uh, my barrel ponic system. Let's start over here. You can see I've got it wrapped in uh, contractor trash bags. It's because uh, it's the clear, kind of clearish plastic barrels that I got for free. You know, can't argue with that for free. And then I need to make it so that the uh, sun doesn't get get to it and creates uh, all the algae and stuff like that. So this was a cheap way. I think I got a box of them for like 15 bucks. And uh, that was that. And then um, let's see, the stand is just uh, scrap wood, so that was free. And then some of these plants actually pulled from the garden because uh, with the Texas heat, they were drying up. So I stuck them in here, they gave them a new life, and we've been able to harvest off of the, the basil. And we're waiting for the uh, tomatoes to come in. And something interesting is this guy right here. So this guy right here, that's uh, moringa, which I got seeds online, I think from Thailand. And uh, it was dwarfed in the garden. It wasn't getting enough uh, moisture, so I transplanted it. It's been in there for uh, about three weeks, I guess. And then got some some radishes, some fennel, parsley, I got some mint back there. And then over here, I got uh, three kinds of basil. And I've got a tomato plant over there that I need to tie tie up. And uh, you can see that the, the water's just coming out on top. Adds to oxygenization, and then over here it's like a, a siphon. So what I got here is um, a bunch of tubes. I went with these tubes, uh, the loop siphons, because they were they were cheap. I got some tube, I don't know, five bucks or so. Uh, actually, like Home Depot might have been a little bit more. It's a uh, the flexible tube, not the not the tubing for um, uh, irrigation. So it's flexible. It bends nicely. I've got it. I've got it situated on this crossbar here for support, and then it, it dumps in into the, into the tank. Now I've got this netting here because of mosquitoes, right? So you can see there's an elbow on that. That's to let's give it a little re resistance so that it cuts on, it cuts off actually, it cuts off better. And I've got a pump there. You can see the bifurcation going to each of the grow beds. And uh, the gravel was um, about 20 bucks <laughs> for the whole for all the gravel and stuff. And the pump, I guess, was about 40 bucks. So the system system is relatively cheap, and it's a it's a um, like an experiment for the bigger system that I want to do. That I've already dug a hole for the for the water, the big pond and stuff, which I'll get to later down the road. All right, y'all take it easy. Bye.